Hi everyone! Welcome po ulit sa ating math din. Ang i-compute naman natin ngayon is um, present value under pa rin ng topic ng compound interest. So, ang first two examples natin, ang ginamit natin is itong general formula. So, this time ang gagamitin natin is derivation of formula kasi ang unknown natin is present value or principal money. So, we have example number three, find the present value, so that is P, of 50,000 pesos. So, ito ngayon ay future value. Due in seven years, this is the term or time, if money is worth 10% compounded annually. So, this is the rate. So, let's rewrite the given. We have the future value of 50,000. We have the time of 7 years. And we have the rate of 10%. Convert natin into decimal. That is 0.10. Then find the present value. Since given tayo ng F, R, and T, so pwede tayong gumamit ng kahit alin dito sa dalawang formula na to. So pwede tayong gumamit ng unang formula, solution, P is unknown. So we have P is equals to F over 1 plus R raised to T. Substitute natin. We have 50,000 over 1 plus 0.10 raised to 7. So, pwede natin... Uh, Input yan directly sa calculator or pwede pa natin isimplify ng ganito. So we have 50,000 divided by 1.10 raised to 7. So the answer here is 25,657.91. So rounded off na yung 0.91 centavos natin. And then, pwede rin natin gamitin yung isa pang derived formula. So, we have another solution. P is unknown. Pero ang gagamitin natin ay F times 1 plus R raised to negative T. Substitute natin. We have 50,000 times 1 plus 0.10 raised to negative 7. So, pwede rin natin siyang isimplify or pwede directly na i-input sa calculator. 50,000 times 1.10 raised to negative 7. The answer is still the same. That is 25,657.91. Therefore, the present value is 25,657 pesos and 91 centavos. Another example for this topic is how much should a student place in a time deposit in a time deposit rather in a bank that pays 1.1% so this is the rate of interest compounded annually so that he will have so pag sinabing he he or she will have that is future value of 200,000 pesos so that is f after 6 years. So, given tayo ng R, F of T, 
At ang pinapahanap is how much money yung initial na dapat i-deposit. So, that is present value. So, rewrite natin ang given. We have rate which is 1.1%. Convert natin siya into decimal. That is 0 0.011. So, we have future value of 200,000. Then we have the time of 6 years. So, find the present value. So, again, pwede tayong gumamit ng alin formula dyan. So, pwede natin gamitin ng unang derived formula. So, we have P is equals to F over 1 plus R raised to T. Substitute natin, we have 200,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.011 raised to 6. So, pwede siyang isimplify muna ang denominator. 200,000 divided by 1.011 raised to 6. The final answer is 187,000. 293.65 point 0.65 is rounded off as up to 2 decimal place now pwede rin natin gamitin yung another derived formula is unknown pero ang gagamitin natin is P is equals to F times 1 plus R raised to negative T so we have 200,000 times the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.011 raised to negative 6. So, pwede natin siyang isimplify muna. We have 200,000 times 1.011 raised to negative 6. So, ibig sabihin niyan, 1.011 raised to negative 6 times 200,000. The answer is still the same. 187,293.65. Therefore, the student should deposit amounting of 187,293.65 in the bank. Okay. So that, thi that is how we solve for the present value if that is the unknown deriving from the original or the general formula of compound interest.